Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's Patrick Lincoln's off. I am the Sober Investor. Oh, it doesn't matter your background. I've been homeless. I've been addicted to drugs. I have felonies, I've been to jail, but I didn't let none of those things stop me from becoming successful, and neither should you. Give me like Can one. you get, uh... I wonder if I put these the right way. Were these, you can read these? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me actually give B-roll shot. Be the miracle, purpose over pleasure. Mm-hmm. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Patrick Lagansoff. I am the Sober Investor. We're standing outside of one of my friend's properties. It was operating as a behavioral health home. It's actually two homes. There's an adult property uh, in the front and in the back on the other street, there's a gate in between that actually connected to and that one was a children's home and it wasn't up to par. He didn't know what was going on and he wanted some suggestions from me. So I walked through the property and made some suggestions and it actually looks like he took all the suggestions. Everything is looking really good and up to date. Um, it's actually going to be two properties. So this, uh, they mirror each other. The rooms are in different areas, but they're exact same square footage. They're going to be, they were four bedrooms, 3000 square feet that both had garages, but both of the garages have been converted into another two rooms. So it is now a six bedroom, three bath, both properties that connect each other with a gate in the middle, which is pretty cool. The front one is for adults. The back one is for kids and they're back actually both licensed, which is not normal, but they uh, are grandfathered in and I can't wait to show you the property. y'all so now we're inside of uh the one property this one is licensed for adults i think it's licensed for five so the suggestions that i had made is just to give a better product so when other facilities come in why do they want to send their clients here so you walk through and you want to present something that's very nice so i said you need to do new floorings you need new paint and you also need new carpet in the rooms and you need a deep deep clean and obviously they did the suggestions. There's new paint, new floors, um, and new furniture. They got rid of all of their old furniture and they want to present a product that is appealing to other programs to be able to send their clients here. And one thing that they did that I didn't agree with is this is licensed for five, but they were going over that limit and they were putting 10 people in one house and it's just too many different personalities bumping heads with each other. I like to stick around the five number um, for them. So pretty much the biggest change that we made was the structure of the house. I wanted to know what rules that they were abiding by, what were they teaching their manager, managers and things of that nature. And so I got to talk to them a little bit and said, Hey, I would suggest this, or I would suggest this. They already had staff that were completely trained, um, but they just needed a little tweak type of thing and uh, I think they've done a good job. So this is, again, is the adult side. The house directly behind us is licensed for children. So we'll go over to that one next. All right, guys, so we're coming from the adult house, and as you can see, there's a fence in the backyard that connects these two houses. And this one is licensed for five adults, and then this one behind you is going to be licensed uh, for five children. So it's kind of crazy. You don't usually see that very often. Two houses licensed for two different things, backing each other, or even in the same area because of zoning problems. But these ones have been operating for over 20 years. So I think they're grandfathered in, and I just think it's cool to have these two houses together. You could have a mommy and me where the children are over here, adults are over here, or you can run two completely different programs. But it's cool that you can have children, adults, Adults do two different programs backing each other and then you can meet in the middle they can associate with each other which I just think is an awesome thing all right guys we have a unique opportunity here with these behavioral health homes I get to walk you and kind of show you what a behavioral health home needs so in a behavioral health home there are certain regulations that you need to meet for Department of Health Services and one of them it needs to be wheelchair accessible so some of these door frames have been widened to be able to fit a wheelchair in and some of the sinks and uh, 
toilets have to be at a certain level and then the shower you have to have the small step to be able to step in type of thing so you, it has to be wheelchair accessible there has to be ramps coming inside the doors and inside some of the rooms and the bathrooms have to be wheelchair accessible and this property has all of those and then also a lot of houses that are only like three bedrooms, maybe four bedrooms, people do conversions in these houses. And this garage has actually been converted into two bedrooms. And I would like to show you what that looks. Um, again, this is another wheelchair accessible um, bathroom. You have to have enough turnaround space for the wheelchair for them to turn around, get out, and then also use the restroom. And like I said, ramps. This one has a ramp into this room, so it's easily accessible. Also with these houses, the windows all have to be, I think it's 44 inches from the ground. So somebody who's in a wheelchair, in case of a fire, they can get out of those. And as you can hear the chirping, there is uh, smoke detectors in every room. There's fire extinguishers. There is fog lights. So you can see if you're in the dark and fire happens, lights automatically turn on and they'll uh, illuminate the exits for you. And uh, fire escape plans. They're not up in this house yet, but there's going to be fire escape plans to show you exactly where to go, where to meet and things like that. Hey, what's going on y'all? It's Patrick Leggins off. I am the sober investor. I want to wish each and every one of you a happy new year. I'm hoping it's starting off on the right foot. When you guys are setting your goals for the years, the one mistake that I made last year was limiting myself to my goals. I told myself I wanted to buy three houses for the year. And I did that, I actually did five, but if I would have told myself 10, I would have worked even harder to get to that 10. The analogy that was given to me is, when you wanna clean your house by the end of the day, you will take till the end of the day to clean your house, but that surprise guests come over and you tell your wife, hey, somebody's gonna be here in 30 minutes. Guess how fast your house gets clean? It's in that 30 minutes. So let's don't limit yourself, set big goals. Let's make $100 million this year and be successful. Like, follow, and share for more ideas. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Patrick Lagenshoff. I am the Sober Investor, and I wanna reach out to each and every one of you that are trying to get outside of your nine to five job, maybe start your own company, and don't know where to start. And I just wanna let you know, it doesn't matter your background. I've been homeless, I've been addicted to drugs, I've had felonies, I've been to jail, but I didn't let none of those things stop me from becoming successful, and neither should you. So if you guys want to start your own company, don't know where to start, or would like to start your own sober living, behavioral health company, maybe even real estate, please reach out to me and message me and let's start your company today.